Well, here we are. Welcome to Blaze KTFB. Good evening, everyone, and happy Sabbath. Uh, my happy name Sabbath. is Stephen Stewart. Uh, I'm here with my co-hosts, Junior, Jade, and Joshua, and we are bringing you the first episode, the first episode of Blaze KTFB. This is really a uh, an outgrowth of, or, or rather not even an outgrowth, but an extension of our yearly Blaze Ministry training. And this is a training uh, that's conducted by the Florida Conference of Seventh-day Adventists, the Pathfinder and Adventurer Department. And this training helps to train our young people in ministry. And as you can see, we all have on our Blaze shirts. Uh, I am the Associate Director of uh, Pathfinders and Adventurers for Florida Conference. Junior is our evangelism uh, coordinator, right, uh, for Pathfinders and uh, Evangelism Director, rather, for Pathfinders and Adventurers. And, Adventures. and we have Jade and Joshua, two of our Blaze trainees. And uh, for this program, Blaze KTFB, our purpose is to encourage those young people who went through our training, uh, encourage them to uh, continue to keep the or keep the fire burning. That's what the KTFB stands for. Continue to be on fire for Jesus. We want to encourage them to use the training that they receive at the Bla the yearly Blaze Ministry training to do ministry. But not only that, we we, we seek to motivate others, other young people who who may want to do something for Jesus, and we want to motivate them by sharing the stories of young people who are doing ministry right Amen. now. Amen. Um, we had a, a, a wonderful presentation planned for you. Uh, we had a special presentation software and we had the bells and whistles, but the thing uh, was not to be. And so thank the Lord for Zoom. <laughs> Zoom is Amen. our backup and we're here uh, more so in a meeting style uh, tonight, uh, but uh, we uh, hope to do better in the future episodes. I want to apologize because we were also supposed to be live streaming uh, to Facebook, but because of uh, the technical difficulties, uh, we're only being able to live stream to YouTube. But I thank God for that. And the good news is that we are recording this and we will be posting it on Facebook. Uh, but uh, tonight uh, we have uh, some people that we're going to talk to. Jade, you want to share with us what we're going to be doing tonight? Yes. Welcome to Blaze Ministry. Keep the fi fire burning. Tonight we have two guests who are sharing the word of Jesus in two different ways. One is coming to us from North Florida and the other is coming to us from all the way from Brazil. They will be sharing their experiences and thoughts on how they spread the word by answering our questions and hope to inspire you, yes you, watching at home, to do the same, to keep the fire burning in your own way. Remember, there is no such thing as a small ministry because it only takes a spark to start a blaze. Bang, bang. And, and, and you know, I had, a, uh, I, had a, I had a sound effect and a video effect for, for moments like that when you drop what I call a blaze bomb. That's a blaze moment right there. Amen, All amen. Right. But um, so, so uh, what we were planning on doing is having our guests on one at a time. But because of the change uh, and, and, and the format change right here, uh, we're, we're going to bring them all on at the same time. And we're going to just go uh, back and forth. It's two main guests. Uh, one guest from Brazil. We have a translator. We have a translator, a young translator on. And so, guys, I hope that didn't shock you there. But we'll just have them all on at the same time and, and, and we'll interact that way. Is that all right? Is that all right? Yes, yes, it is. Go All ahead. Right, they're just shaking their heads. They're just shaking their heads. So Joshua, Joshua, why don't you introduce both of our guests? Introduce both of our guests tonight. Who's the All who's right, first and sure. who's second? Why don't you go ahead? All right, thank you, Pastor. So hello, everyone. Again, my name is Joshua Nerio from the Miami Temple Pathfinder Church, Pathfinder myself. So today, I want to start off introducing um, Chris Tell Toledo. She's joining us um, from High Springs okay. SDA Church. Um, she's conducting a very special ministry. She's hosting uh, Bible studies, right, right in her home okay. on Zoom using the technology. I know we are finding ourselves in during these quarantine conditions. So she's, she's taking advantage of that 
and doing Bible studies online, sending a humble hero. So we're going to bring her on to talk a little bit about her ministry. And then, um, like my fellow Jay mentioned, uh, we have another guest from Brazil, Jay Reyes. Uh, again, a very she's using her social media platform uh, to spread the gospel, to share the love of Jesus. Um, she has a huge, over 2 million followers on her TikTok. So we'll get to more than that. So again, Christelle and Jay, welcome to KTFB. All right. All right. Well, let's bring them back on. Let's bring them on. Let's bring these young ladies on. All right. We are, we are joined now. Sort of upside down. <laughs> Side on. Oh, all right. Now. You're good now. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Welcome. Welcome, Crystal. Hi, Crystal. And welcome, welcome to Jay, all the way from Brazil. Tonight. Hi, Pastor. Hi, How guys. Are you? How are you, Jay? And Julia, uh, right here with us in Florida, our translator. Hello, Julia. Hey. All right, all right. Well, guys, we're here. I'm excited uh, uh, for you guys uh, being here. We want to have a conversation tonight. I, uh, the goal is to share your stories what's happening. Uh, we want other young people to hear how the Lord is using you in ministry. Is that all right? All right. And we're going to be going back and forth, asking you guys questions. Now, you'll have to unmute your microphones. Right. You'll have to unmute your microphones so that we can hear you. Uh, uh, so, so if you can do that for us right now, um, uh, we have Jade, we have Joshua, and Junior, myself. Uh, we're going to ask you a couple of questions, and uh, uh, we feel free at any time to uh, uh, just share anything that's on your mind. But um, but 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 Jade, why don't you just why don't you go? St let, let's start with uh, Crystal. Let's start with Crystal. Okay, let's start with Crystal. First, I want to ask you if well, you can well, tell us about. Go, 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 Crystal, can you unmute your microphone? Yes, sir. Oh, there you go. There you go. And Julia, you may have to unmute, unmute your microphone because at any time we may switch over and ask Jay the same question. Okay. All right, go ahead. Could you tell us about the ministry that you were doing? What is it exactly? Well, my ministry is called Bible Warriors, and uh, we have a conversations just like we do here. Um, and we discuss a book called Humble Hero, which is a simplified version of The Desire of Ages. And we discuss one chapter every week. All right. So oh, some people would like to know, was it easy to start an online ministry? Um, well, it was more a lot of planning. I had to find study material, which is very hard for the age group I'm targeting, which is teenagers 13 and older. Um, and then it was simply getting the news out to people, um, emails, phone calls, things of that nature. All right, all right. So, so, so if I can jump in a little, if I can jump in a little. So, so, um, and, and by the way, um, we, we, we will incorporate some questions from the chat. Uh, those who are watching on uh, YouTube, uh, we, we encourage you, if you have a question for our guest tonight, you can put it in the chat. Someone is already commenting, wow, uh, that we have a lot of J's. We have a lot of J's on the program. You know, we have J's. That is true. <laughs> you know, we have Junior. We have Joshua. We have J. We have Julia. Crystal. You and I are the only ones keeping this thing real. <laughs> the outsiders. Yeah, the outsiders, the outsiders. But uh, how, how, Crystal, I'm curious, how long have you been doing this? I have been doing it for approximately three months. Three whole months. Okay. So, so, so this is a fairly new ministry. Yes, it is. Did, did, COVID, did COVID have anything to do with this? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Joshua. Did COVID have anything anything to do with this? Um, absolutely. So I had been praying for a while before this. I felt that God had a calling for me and I wanted to do something more. And COVID just really opened the doors. Because before you, you have trouble finding a place to meet, 
finding a time that works for everyone. And then everyone has to drive there. Um, but here you just sit at home with a laptop and you can get on, which made it a lot easier for me. Okay. Okay. All right. Joshua, go ahead. You were saying something. Uh, you actually kind of answered my question there, Chris. So I was going to ask you, like, what really you know, pushed you to, to start this Bible study group? And like you said, you know, even though we're in the midst of this adversity, COVID and everything, that kind of opened the doors. Um, so, so that's great. And, you know, I kind of follow up for that. So, you know, Zoom, online, do you think that the study material, the format and everything, do you think that's reaching this age group the best? Like you said, teenagers, 13 year old above? Um, yeah. Absolutely. Whereas if you, when you have to go out to a place, you have to calculate the time it takes you to drive there. Um, and then walking, whatever you have to do, it's easier to reach this age group simply because it's electronics to begin with. It's hard to get kids off electronics these days. Here you don't have to necessarily. It definitely makes it easier. And, and just to jump in, uh, that's why our, our training that we did well, uh, the, the last Blaze ministry training, we focused on digital ministry. And the idea was to take advantage of the digital aspect of what's happening right now. And we felt that you kids are in a far better uh, situation uh, to do ministry. I'm sorry, go ahead. Who, who, who is next? Uh, Jay, Wait, go. can I pop in and ask a question? Pop in, please. So um, I see that your your program is for teenagers so i must ask since it's since it's for teenagers i am what are you doing in these meetings that is not for younger kids um well the age range is simply a suggestion um however we i did put that there simply because we want to have more intelligent conversations a bit more mature not necessarily about mature content but um to be able to get a bit more in depth so we didn't necessarily want younger kids because we didn't want to have to be constantly explaining ourselves. And I just found it easier. No, what me... are some of the challenges that you faced when you got started? Um, well, definitely reaching people, emails, phone calls, texts. I've never been incredibly social, especially on technology. Until recently, mm -hmm. I didn't enjoy using it. Um, so getting past my personal fear of calling people mm -hmm. and doing that kind of thing was definitely one of the largest hurdles for me personally. Did, did you have to call a lot of people? I mean, what were some of the marketing strategies that you used to, 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 to share this? Um, well, the school I go to, all of the students' emails are roughly in the same format. So I was able to email my entire ninth grade class last year. And um, definitely reached out to my family, so my younger cousins and, um, yeah, people close to us and things like that. Okay, 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 all right. So, so it has been a blessing, though, all this online evangelism. And I'm going to ask you something. How has, when you prepare for your, for your weekly uh, studies, how, how has that helped you? grow more in the walk with Jesus on a one-on-one -on -one level? Um, well, it's definitely shown me the importance of prayer and communication. Amen. And I've definitely personally learned a lot about his life by reading The Desire of Ages. You know, I've grown up with, in church and listening to these stories since I was younger than kindergarten. But now I'm reading Ellen G. White's version of the, the story and just learning a whole wealth a lot more because one thing is that when you go to church like i grew up with a church but when you start reading on your own that's when you grow Good yeah job. definitely great great how many kids do you have in this study uh, yeah right now presently um i have two regulars um and i've had about five or six that drift in and out occasionally okay and, and is, is you grew up geared to non-Christian, Christian, Adventist, how, what is your, what's your main purpose? Um, it's to bring teenagers in because it's being taught by other teenagers and 
uh, that's kind of the environment we're looking for. And also for current Adventists and teenagers to grow their relationship and to learn more also by teaching others. Amen. Good question, Crystal. Um, so was there a role model or a, a positive influence that kind of pushed you the, to, to begin the, this ministry? Um, well, overall, my family has been big in church. Um, all of me, my brother and my mother, we all play instruments. So we've always had a music ministry, singing and doing things like that. My dad has preached before. He's taught Sabbath schools on and off wherever we've gone. So um, definitely large influences there. Okay. Okay. Thank you for that. And one last thing. So, um, what advice would you give to other youth who are maybe scared? They have their own worries, uh, anxieties about starting this ministry. What, what, what would be your advice to them? Um, well, it's a lot more intimidating at first glance. And also to not be afraid of planning, plan, 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 but also not being afraid to compromise sometimes and understand that you will have technical difficulties. <laughs> no. You might have to call no. off a meeting one day. <laughs> I think we need to have our fair share of those experiences. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And to just not freak out about those things, to relax a bit more. Right. Leave it in God's hands, right? <laughs> Absolutely. This whole thing has really taught me a lot of trust. Trust, trust. What an important thing to have these days. Well, thank you, Christelle. Definitely. I have a question for you. I have one question, Crystal. Okay, how, go ahead. Sorry. How do you think that church has, like, how can they support you? Or how has that church given you that support to your ministry? You're talking about her church or the church in general? Her church, local church. Okay. Um. Well, we just moved. It's been about two months that we've been here. Um. To be honest, I don't even think the church really knows yet because I haven't really told anybody. <laughs> but um, in my previous church, I had a lot of relatives, so they definitely um, supported me a lot. And a lot of the adults from the youth groups and our pastor definitely were supporting me and they knew about it. Now the church will know today because they're going to see you. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. And, and, and I have a question. I think you answered it already. This is coming from the chat. Um, have you been able to minister to any non seven Adventists yet? And uh, you kind of mentioned it, right? But have you? Have you been able to reach out? Um, I am not really aware because people from school come and go, and I've never asked anyone's uh, religious affiliation <laughs> or belief. I just don't ask out of respect for them, and maybe they're not comfortable saying so. Are you in a pub? Is it is it a public school that you're in? Private school? It is an Adventist school, but not all of our students are Adventist. All right. Okay. Beautiful. I I, I understand. I understand. Okay. Um. And so so, well, I I want you to kind of hang on because we're going to talk. We're going to shift our conversation to Jay, and then you know we kind of like to go between you guys back and forth, back and forth, back and forth a little bit, but but. Uh, Julie is going to be helping us now because Jay, uh, she knows a little bit of English, <laughs> but but she knows more English than I know Portuguese. So I need Julia. <laughs> <laughs> I need Julia. But Jay, uh, welcome again. And um, one of the things that caught my attention was um, the ministry that you're doing. Uh, the, 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 uh, 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 on online, the the, the 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 social media ministry that you have. So uh, I'm gonna allow our my, my my team to just go ahead and start sharing with you. Uh, Jay, why don't you go ahead? Get ready, Jay, because I have so many questions for your ministry. <laughs> well, manda, quer dizer, como é que fala esse inglês? Oi? Just say, manda. bring it on. Pode mandar. <laughs> oh, yeah, she said bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you asked for it. Okay. When and how did you decide to make your beliefs public? Ela tá perguntando é, quando e como é que você decidiu fazer o que você acredita público? Tá, fazer um resumão. 
É, desde que eu conheci Jesus de verdade, eu sempre fui adventista, sempre fui cristã minha vida toda. Mas a partir do momento que eu conheci Jesus de verdade, eu percebi que eu tinha que falar desse amor para outras pessoas. So, um, she always knew Jesus, she always knew God and everything. But when she actually got to like experience God and like, you know, uh, she decided that she didn't want everything that she was feeling for herself. She wanted to spread to others. Okay, okay. There's a question. I don't know if we clarified this question. Uh, Crystal, how old are you? I am 15 years old. You're 15. And, and Jay? 17. 17. Oh, she understood that. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I just wanted to point that out. Uh, and that, that uh, your, your age, uh, uh, your, your young people on fire, a blaze for, the, for Jesus. For the Lord. Amen. Right, I'm, uh, 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 go ahead. I'm sorry. Amen. Pode continuar. Então... É, aí eu decidi ir pro... Ah, calma, é pra, pra Jane continuar ou eu continuo? Não, você... Eu continuo. Eu decidi ir pro Instagram e comecei a falar de Jesus lá, fazer vários vídeos. Até que, depois de uns seis meses no Instagram, eu fui confrontada. Tava tendo uma pregação e o pastor começou a falar mal do TikTok. E eu concordei com ele porque eu achava que era uma plataforma extremamente vulgar e cheia de coisas promíscuas. Então, aí você traduz e faz o um suspense. <laughs> so, uh, she was saying that she started off by using Instagram, posting a lot of videos there and all like, spreading God's word. And then uh, that was like about six months later, she heard a preacher saying uh, kind of like bad things about TikTok and how uh, it can be a bad influence. And she actually uh, agreed with the preacher. Watch me not. Então, meu pai virou para mim do nada e eu concordando com o pastor, achando que realmente o lugar era promíscuo, que a gente tinha que tirar os nossos jovens de lá. Meu pai virou para mim e falou, Jay, o Espírito Santo está me dizendo que você tem que entrar no TikTok. O TikTok é o lugar que você tem que começar a pregar. Aí eu virei para o pai e falei, o quê? Não, pai, tá doido? Resumindo tudo, depois de uma, uma conversa curta, eu e ele criamos a minha conta durante a pregação. And so, uh, while she was agreeing with the preacher that TikTok is bad and everything, that we should get, get out, like, the young people from it, um, her dad, who was sitting beside her, uh, turned to her and he said, well, the Holy Spirit is telling me that you have to get into TikTok. And then she was like, wait, what? What? And then, um, at that time, during the preacher, they created the TikTok account. Amen. Wait, well, well. Praise oh. the Lord. Right wait, in wait, church. Stop, stop. Time out. That, that's the time. So, at what time? When you said you were listening to a preacher, what was it? Uh, Sabbath or the evening? Was it an evangelist? When were you listening to the preacher? Ele tá perguntando é, quando é que você escutou o sermão. Foi tipo durante o sábado? Foi uma sexta-feira à noite. Foi um sábado. Foi tipo mais ou menos esse horário. Uh, Friday night. So, so Friday night, you're listening, you and your dad listening to a preacher. He talks about TikTok and he says it's not good and you agree. And your father says... The Holy, the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Wow. There's something for us to do, Juni. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Continue. Continue. God, continue. Is, God is good. God is good. Diz para eles aí se preparar porque a história ainda fica mais doida. Oh, she's telling you guys to like prepare yourselves because uh, the story it gets a little bit more crazier. Então. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Eu tinha Maybe. certeza. Maybe, maybe we should just let her get tell her story, guys, right? Yes, yes, go ahead. Go I ahead. think so. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> eu tinha certeza que ia dar tudo errado. Eu tinha certeza que aquilo não ia alcançar ninguém. Porque eu estava acomodada com o meu ministério no Instagram. Eu não queria crescer. Eu queria ficar ali porque estava dando certo. Eu já tinha mais ou menos uns 10 mil seguidores. Então, essa conta do TikTok, eu comecei do zero. E postei alguns vídeos que eu já tinha. Vídeos no meu Instagram. E não divulguei em lugar nenhum. Eu só lá acabou a bateria. Voltei a prestar atenção na pregação. No outro dia, quando eu acordei, eu estava com mais de 20 mil seguidores. E vídeos com mais de 700 mil visualizações. Sendo que eu não tinha divulgado em lugar nenhum. I don't know. So... Julia, Julia, can you remember all of that? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> she was saying that when she got her TikTok account, she started from scratch. Like, she had zero followers. She didn't have any videos. And then she was already good with what she had already in Instagram. She had like 10,000 uh, followers. 
And um, so she started to post the videos that she put on Instagram on her TikTok account. And then her phone was, her phone died. So, and she started listening to the preacher again. The next day she woke up, she looked into the phone on TikTok and she saw that all her videos had like more than 700 views and that she had 20,000 followers already. Wow. wow. E assim o Espírito Santo deu um soco em mim e disse, filha, tá vendo que seu pai tava certo? Eu quero você no TikTok. E desde então, desde o dia 28 de janeiro de 2020, eu nunca mais saí do TikTok. And then uh, she said that the Holy Spirit kind of like told her, see, you have to be on TikTok. Your dad was right. And since then, 28 of January of 2020, she's still on TikTok. All right. All right. So I, I need to jump in. I know the guys want to, want to jump in, but let me say this. You know, um, when it comes to social media now, uh, Jay, you're 17. Um, Julia, we didn't ask your age. I'm 15. You're 15 also, like yeah. Christopher. So... Um, for, for the parents out there, and, and Junior knows this, there are a lot of parents who would rather that their, 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 their children are, are not on social media. My parents raised their hands. There's no Jade. No social media whatsoever on no any social media. Devices. None, nothing. Wow, wow, wow. So, so, so what we have here, we have some who are able to be on and some who are not. And we're not really advocating uh, for that. I guess what we're trying to say is, if you're on, you can do something for Jesus. Amen. And if you're not, Jesus can still do things through you. you. Uh, Crystal is doing a, a Bible study on Zoom. Uh, but, but either way, the common denominator is to make yourself available for Jesus to use you. So that's amazing. C I'm sorry, continue. I just want to no, say that no. Joshua... Or Junior, somebody wants yeah, to say yeah, yeah, Jay, yeah. So, this is for Jay. How have your church supported you, and have you ever seen this, this preacher again to let him know that it is working for the Lord? <laughs> é, ele está perguntando como é que a sua igreja tem meio que te apoiado nesse ministério. E eu esqueci então, <risos> eu tenho dois pastores e os meus dois pastores me acompanham de perto, sem contar que o meu pai é ancião, então desde o começo eu sempre tive muito apoio do, de todos os meus líderes, principalmente porque meu líder maior está dentro de casa, né, meu pai, então eu tenho muito apoio e muito acompanhamento espiritual. So, um, she has a lot of su spiritual support, she has two pastors, and uh, her dad even, I don't, not really sure of the name, um... Uh, He's uh, kind of like one of those superiors in church. I'm an not elder? sure. The an elder? Elder. I think so, yeah. So uh, she says that like he really does support her and all in her ministry. Okay. Amen, amen. Can I jump in? I see sure. a question in the chat from uh, jboy22. He asked, have you been able to minister to any non-SDA yet? Have you what? I'm so sorry. Have you been able to minister to any non-SDA yet? Seven days. Uh, sorry? Non-SDA. <laughs> Você tem conseguido, tipo, meio que administrar, tipo, não sendo do SDA, tipo, do SDA, Adventista? Ah, tá. Se eu tenho administrado convites de outras igrejas... I, eu acho que sim, eu acho que é isso. Então, é, eu estava agora, há mais ou menos uma semana atrás, num projeto que não tem uma bandeira de igreja, e eu era a única adventista lá entre 30 tiktokers. Então, eu tenho buscado poder levar o meu testemunho do sábado para outras religiões também, porque é o mesmo do Jesus, somos um corpo de Cristo. So, uh, she said that she was already, like, last week, on another church that was an Adventist. She was the only Adventist there and there were like others 30 like TikTokers too. And uh, she was able to like bring what, like her experience there. Amen. 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 All right, all right. If I could just chime in really quickly. Go ahead. Quick question. So you mentioned that an important part of you getting that influence you have now on TikTok um, what's your Instagram account, right? And I, I think, you know, that's one of the more mainstream medias, TikToks, you know, kind of newer here. So uh, what did you do originally to build up your following on Instagram, right? Like, 
I know TikTok is where you're at now, you know, getting a lot of following there. Um, you know, Instagram played an important role there. So, you know, how did you get that part building up? What motivated you to, to go in that area at the beginning? Ele tá perguntando que como você começou no Instagram e depois você foi no TikTok, o que tipo, como é que você foi meio que crescendo no Instagram? Então, não sei, não sei. Acho que como eu tenho muito mais seguidores no TikTok, é tipo muito mais mesmo. Então, eu imagino que as pessoas que procuraram me acompanhar mais, entender melhor quem eu sou, migraram do TikTok para o Instagram, porque é o mesmo nome. E aí, começaram a assistir, viram que o conteúdo é legal e me seguiram. Mas eu acho que é só isso, não tenho certeza. Eu faço mas um conteúdo isso... bem legal no Instagram, então. Ah, ok. Oh, so, uh, she's saying that now that she has TikTok, she's thinking, like, mostly, like, TikTok and Instagram. They're kind of, like, in the same level right now. So, she thinks that she doesn't really know exactly how, like, she was building up on Instagram. But she thinks that most of them, kind of, like, from TikTok, migrated to Instagram and started like just seeing and like already staying there. All right, all right, cool, cool. Eu acho que, deixa eu, deixa eu completar, eu acho que o segredo de, da, da galera migrar é ver que o conteúdo é bom em todas as redes, você ser relevante em todos os lugares que você está, em todas as mídias sociais. She, adding on, she said that uh, like the real secret for like people to stay is seeing that the content is good and they are interested in it, so they stay where they are. And, uh, and, and Jay, does, do you have like an age limit? I mean, age group? Teenagers? Ah, young... Tá perguntando se tem, tipo, uma certa idade que assiste os seus vídeos e tudo. Caramba, varia muito, mas geralmente são adolescentes, dos 12 aos seus 16 anos, mas eu tenho de 8 até 60. Tem muita gente. Eu tenho muita um público muito variado. She said that uh, her public is mostly like a variety of ages. So there's like 60 and then there's A, but mostly like from 12 through 16 years old, mostly teens. I have a question. So, how long have you been doing this? Quanto tempo que você tem feito isso? É, no TikTok. Tem 10 tem meses no TikTok. No Instagram tem um ano e meio, quase dois anos. On TikTok, like 10 months. And uh, on Instagram, about like a year and a half. A year and wow. a half. So, so let's go back to Instagram. So you started on Instagram. How did you start doing that on Instagram? We heard from Crystal, we heard how uh, COVID-19 was an influencer and she felt like she wanted to do something. Uh, we heard how she began, but how did you begin with Instagram? Tá perguntando, é, como você... Sorry. That was our first question that we asked Jay Pastor Stewart. Right, right. but. It was kind of, I, I think this, what I heard from the answer, what she was focusing kind of on now, TikTok. But I want to go beyond that. I want, so, so, so now that we found out from the that beginning. it was actually Instagram, how did you even get started on Instagram? Como é que você começou no Instagram? Tá, eu não lembro muito bem, eu acho que, ah, lembro sim, lembro sim. Eu comecei, a ah, essa história também é doida, minha filha é doida. Eu postei umas fotos e botava umas legendas assim sobre Jesus. Quando eu, eu conheci Jesus, eu pensei, nossa, eu preciso evangelizar a galera de algum jeito. Eu achava o máximo, eu achava uma, pegar uma foto bonita, botava uma legenda legal e pronto, estou evangelizando. Eu era, entre aspas, superficial, eu podia fazer muito mais que aquilo. So, uh, she started off by like pictures, just posting, uh some pictures, and when she really got to know God, she started uh, posting, like, captions about Jesus. And Amen. she was like, yeah, okay, so I'm already spreading the word. Então, mas aí aconteceu uma coisa. Eu comecei a criar um conteúdo legal, comecei a criar alguns textos propositais, com intenção de evangelizar. Porque antes eu pegava uma foto bonita e colocava uma legenda. Agora... Eu pensava no texto e a foto não importava, porque o evangelismo era mais importante que a foto. Até uh, que... Não, continua, oh, vai. So, um, 
she before she used to just like get a pretty picture and then post the caption but then uh she started like focusing more about the caption and its content than actually focusing about the picture mm. então a minha depois que eu comecei a criar uma relevância comecei a criar um conteúdo legal quando eu tava realmente me encontrando no que eu tava fazendo a minha conta foi hackeada do nada, do nada. Eu perdi toda a minha conta e eu achava que aquilo ali era tudo que eu tinha. And then, uh, when everything was like doing really good, when she got like a good content and all, uh, her account got hacked and she lost everything. Wow. Wow. Oh, um, J-Boy, J-Boy, J-Bo, 22, on the chat, he says that or they, I, I don't know if it's a he or she, but I started my Instagram ministry with zero followers, but quickly gained by using hashtags. Is that how it works? Yeah, is that how it works? Um, eles estão perguntando assim. Um comentário. Ah, eu não terminei, não terminei a história do, do Instagram. Do you want to finish the Instagram story first and then we go back to this one? Here, go ahead. Instagram or the, or, or the TikTok? No, she's talking about the Instagram. Okay, let, let her finish. Tá, eu vou, vou falar, vou resolver bastante. Depois que eu fui hackeada, eu fiquei mal uns dois, três dias, meio de luto, assim, pela minha conta. Mas aí eu recuperei as minhas forças e aí eu percebi que o que eu fazia naquela outra conta era superficial para tudo que eu podia fazer. Então, assim, eu realmente comecei a ser relevante no Instagram. Eu comecei a gravar vídeos e fazer o meu melhor, porque antes eu fazia o que dava. Agora, nesse Instagram novo, que é o meu atual, eu procurei ao máximo me dedicar 100% à Bíblia e a conteúdo para salvar pessoas de forma intencional. So, um, after her uh, account got hacked, she still like two or three days kind of like really upset. And when she really gained her forces, um, she realized that that account was like superficial. And then now she could create an account. Uh, she was focused more on... She started doing like more videos and she gave basically all her energy to it. Amen. To try to like find other people too and spread the word to whoever else was watching. So she sort of got hacked into serving Jesus. Yes, yes. You could say <laughs> that. <laughs> I'm also curious question. about the content right now. She, she's posting various things, right? What, what are the various things that she's posting? Quais são as coisas variadas que você está postando? No momento, esse mês, eu estou fazendo um jejum de redes sociais. Eu tô, vou ficar um mês sem, até apaguei todas, porque é um propósito que eu estou fazendo com Deus, de, de é, ofertar aquilo que eu tenho. So, uh, right now, she's staying like a month off from all the social medias, and also she's not posting anything. She's having like her time with God. Mas, geralmente, eu posto todo tipo de conteúdo. Eu posto de dancinhas a vídeo de oração, vídeo de palavra. Eu tenho um quadro que eu chamo de curiosidade sobre a Bíblia. É um quadro meio que, que meu, assim. Quando falam de mim, já pensam nesse, nessa frase, curiosidade sobre a Bíblia. Porque eu já fiz mais de 30 vídeos sobre isso. E aí são curiosidades bem doidas, assim, umas coisas muito legais sobre a Bíblia que eu acabo pulsando na própria Bíblia, na internet, meus pais, e aí faço vídeos. Então tem de tudo, tem um conteúdo muito variado. Uh, she says her contest is has like a variety, so she has either uh, the ones like with prayer and other ones with like uh, like a song in the back and a dance and everything. And she also shared that she has kind of like this board about curiosity of the Bible. And so she already like posts like 30 more videos, 30 plus videos about all the curiosities that she finds in the Bible. Hi. Wow. I have a question from the chat. Okay, Jay. It is from Rachel Williams, and she says, Hi, Jay. Do you find it difficult to spread the word of God through those social media platforms, especially when a lot of young adults and adults dance and do skits, or do you incorporate it all? É, tá perguntando se você acha difícil é, meio que mostrar a palavra para os outros assim? Quando agora, tipo, as coisas mais populares é, tipo, dança e, sabe, atuar. Então, é complicado. 
eu tinha preconceito com o TikTok justamente porque o conteúdo de lá era completamente diferente do conteúdo cristão. Mas eu acredito que os nossos jovens já estão lá. Então, a gente não pode tirá-los de lá. A gente tem que levar Jesus até onde eles estão. A gente precisa levar esse amor para as pessoas. Então, difícil é, mas é a nossa missão e a gente precisa fazer. Uh, she's saying yes, she thinks it's kind of difficult to it, but since the young adults, they are already there, it's better for us to bring the message of Jesus there to where they are. Amen. Fascinating. Let me, let me, let me ask you one question, same that I, that I asked before. How has your experience with, with all this media help you in your own spiritual life? Como que a sua experiência, né, com a mídia tem meio que formado a sua experiência espiritual. Caramba, tem sido incrível, porque quanto mais eu ensino, mais eu tenho que procurar para ensinar. Então, eu já tinha uma vida espiritual antes, só que, nossa, só tem crescido, tem aumentado. Todos os dias eu tenho aprendido cada vez mais. Às vezes, eu falo em vídeos coisas que, na verdade, Deus ministrou no meu coração e quem precisava ouvir era eu. She's saying that uh, she learned a lot, a lot more, uh, like her spiritual life increased to what she, like she gained a lot of knowledge too, because for her to teach, she has to learn. And sometimes when she's uh, spreading the word and making a video, uh, the message that's going out there, sometimes it actually goes for her too. Amen. Amen. See, because we have, we cannot give what we don't have. So that is, that is good. Joshua, you wanted to say something earlier. Yeah, I had a question. So, Jay, you know, you've talked a lot about your story, how you got started, you know, the challenges you have to, to overcome and everything. So let me ask you, what is it about what you do that you enjoy the most? What is it that, you know, that brings you the joy? What is it that is most rewarding uh, from doing all this? O que que você gosta mais do que você tá fazendo? Caramba. Não sei, tem tanta coisa. Acho que é poder todos os dias falar desse amor e tá sendo uma influência para tanta gente. O mais legal é ser uma influenciadora que é completamente influenciada por Jesus. Um, she's saying that um, wait, I kind of forgot. Oh my gosh, I forgot. Um, like she's saying that it's nice to be like be an influencer, you know, like being able to influence people, and that she likes the most. Um. Uh, so how, I'm oh, sorry, let me restart that question. Do you ever get recognized in public? Você é reconhecido em público? Demais. É bem, é bem legal, eu acho muito mais. Às vezes, yeah. quando eu tô de máscara, assim, as pessoas olham e ficam... I think I, I understood that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Well, well I, I, I want to know, Crystal, you're still on, you've heard... And Jay, I'm not sure if Jay was able to hear. Well, we we didn't translate what was happening before. But do you have any questions, Crystal? Você tem alguma pergunta para a Crystal? Então, eu tava conversando com a com a Crystal e com a Julia mais cedo. Eu não entendi muito bem o que a Crystal faz. Eu fiquei meio na dúvida. Pode me falar, Julia? É, so uh, she didn't really understand when when we were talking before. She didn't really understand what Crystal's ministry was. If she could please, like, just explain briefly what it was. Okay, go so, ahead, Crystal. <laughs> I conduct a Bible study over Zoom every week, and the group Ooh. is studying a simplified version of the Desire of Ages, and we just read a chapter a week, and then we get together and discuss. Gente, eu entendi, agora eu entendi tanto que eu nem precisei de tradutor. Ela, eles estudam a Bíblia de forma simples, uma versão simples, todas as semanas, e ela é líder desse grupo, é isso? Uhum. Ai, que legal! Yeah. She understood everything! Oh. <laughs> All right, então, Chris, well, well, listen, I, I, é... I um, Joshua, go ahead. Sorry? Can I one more question? No, no, that, that was all for me, you guys come um, on. Go ahead, Jay. I have a question from the chat. From Deanne and David Williams. Okay. This is for both Christel and Jay. How has this ministry impacted your academic studies or other extracurricular activities? É, então, 
Tem uma pergunta do chat lá e tá perguntando como é que essa experiência sua tem meio que impactado a seus estudos acadêmicos. Então, agora na pandemia tá difícil porque tudo mudou, né? Tô tendo aula online, tá bem complicado de... Eu não sei se vocês aí estão tendo aula presencial ou não. Estão sendo aula presencial? Depende. Entendi. Enfim, eu tô tendo aula online, então é bem mais difícil de assimilar o conteúdo. O que eu tenho feito é, participando das aulas, tenho buscado estudar, mas, é, infelizmente, graças à pandemia, os meus estudos foram abalados, mas não por causa do meu ministério, e sim por causa da pandemia. So, what Jay is saying that is that uh, during this pandemic, like, everything changed. She's having online schools now, and uh, she's not really understanding, but it's not because of her ministry and everything that she's been doing right now. It's mostly because of the pandemic itself. All right. How about you, Crystal? Um, it honestly hasn't impacted my academic life at all, and... Even before COVID, uh, we were in the process of moving. We were living in a very small house with a lot of people. So I didn't have a lot of extracurricular activities. And most of my preparing is done on Friday evenings and Sabbath mornings or around noon on Sabbaths. Mm -hmm. So can't do schoolwork during that time. So that that's pretty much is what fills my time. Okay, okay, okay. Well, uh, uh, we, we oh. asked this one final question. We asked... This for um for Crystal and we'll ask this for Jay. What what would you say to a young person who may be thinking of doing something like this? We're talking about the social media ministry, maybe having some apprehensions, they're a little afraid, they don't know what to do. What advice would you give to a young person like that? Ah, uh, Jay, ele tá perguntando o seguinte, é qual é um, qual uma ajuda, né? O que você iria falar para uma pessoa que está querendo criar esse ministério online, assim, mas tem um pouquinho de medo? Olha, lá em Marcos 16, 15, vai dizer Ide por todo mundo e pregar o evangelho por toda criatura. Então, esse, essa frase já diz para mim que a gente precisa pregar. E o id por todo mundo me lembra que o TikTok é o aplicativo mais baixado nesses últimos tempos. Tem mais de 1,5 bilhões de pessoas naquele aplicativo e no Instagram tem muita gente que usa também. Então, o id por todo mundo é com certeza a internet, porque a internet é o novo púlpito dos jovens e nós temos esse papel hoje. E Deus chama nós, adolescentes e jovens, para poder pregar. Então, mesmo que o medo venha, porque vem, todo mundo tem medo, busque sabedoria divina, porque se esse for o seu talento, se esse for o seu chamado, você tem que fazer. Amen. He's saying that in Mark 16, 15, it's telling you to uh, spread the evangelism and spread the word of God. And even though you're afraid, just like seek for that knowledge and everything. And if that's your calling, then you should do it, even with fears and everything. All right, beautiful, beautiful. Listen, before we let you two go, um, I'm going to ask Junior if he would say a word of prayer for you guys tonight, um, if you would do that. And before Junior prays, I just want to let you know that for, for, for being our first guest <laughs> on Blaze KTFB, I want to I send you guys one of our shirts. Is that all right? Blaze, I want to <laughs> send you guys one of our shirts, uh, Blaze. So uh, if you could, in the chat, Jay, Crystal, and you too, Julia. Yes, you too, Julia, for, for, for helping us out tonight, all right? Amen, amen. In, give, me your, give me an address to mail that to in the chat. Julia, tell Jay. Not the YouTube chat, the Zoom chat. No, not the YouTube the chat, okay. Zoom chat. A Zoom chat. Zoom, Zoom, Zoom chat. Zoom chat. <laughs> the Zoom chat. The Zoom chat. Give me your address for me to mail. For me to. Jay, tá dizendo que é que a gente vai ganhar essa camiseta e para isso coloca aqui. Aham, você também. Ai, que legal. E aí é, coloca o seu endereço aqui no no chat do Zoom. Tá. 
Tá bom. And I need the size. Eu, eu posso Tell mandar no, no WhatsApp do, do pastor? É mais fácil. She's asking if she can send it through you, to you through WhatsApp. Yes. Tell her the size. Size, size. and address. O tamanho e o endereço, então. Ok. Tá bom. Same for you and Crystal. If you don't, well, I'll text you guys. Junior, will you pray for them? Let us, let us bow our head and pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this evening, Lord, for this Sabbath. Lord, I pray, Lord, that you can bless our youth, Father. Jay, and also, Lord, for Christelle, Lord. You have used them, Father, in the past. Lord, that you can continue using them, Father. That you can continue being a blessing to other youth, Father. Lord, and today I know that there's hope because our youth are the present, Lord, of the church, not, not the future, Father. They're working for you now, Lord, and now we know that with the Holy Spirit, they are saying yes. They're saying yes, Lord, we are here to fulfill the work that you have given to us, Father. And I pray, Lord, for all those that are around them, that they have surrounded them, that they can continue supporting their ministry, Father. And Lord, and as, and as we depart tonight, Lord, that you can continue with our group as well, Father, and that other youth can become inspired by what have they have done, Father. We pray in your son's name. Amen. 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 Um, before we go, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll ask, we'll let uh, Jay, Crystal, and Julia leave first, and then the four of us will talk. But even before you guys go, I just want to express my thanks um, uh, uh, to, to, to Crystal, uh, to Jay, and also to you, Julia, because this is ministry. Even, even their story, we were able to share their stories tonight. And uh, Julia, you helped us share J Jay's story. So uh, you were ministering as well tonight. Yes. So we yes. want to thank you for, uh, for being a part, uh, for coming on. And we truly pray that God will continue to use all of you to, 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 to share the love of Jesus. He's coming back soon. And he needs you to be ministering for him right now. And that's what Amen. you're doing. Thank Amen. you so much. God bless you. Um, Dave, Joshua, hang on, don't leave. Let's, let's wrap up. But um, we'll say goodbye to Jay. Thank you. For Bye. coming. Bye. Thank you for coming. You're welcome. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Hasta luego. Você está muito bem. Você está muito bem. I don't know how to say goodbye. Bye bye. Tchau. <laughs> Tchau. Bye. Nos, very good. Very good. <laughs> Tchau, gente. Quer dizer, bye. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 God bless Beijo. you. And bye, Christelle. Thank you for coming on. Yes, yeah, Christelle. Christelle. You inspired a lot of people today. Anytime. It was a pleasure. Okay, God bless. What, what, what a blessing it is to see our young people you know, working for the Lord. Let them, them use by God. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and listen, Junior, these two young people right here, too. I want yes, you guys yes. to understand Jane and that Joshua, you were part yes. of the ministry tonight as well. Helping that story uh, to get out and listen uh, this was episode one and we're gonna have more episodes and what I'd like uh, uh, for those who are uh, maybe on the chat or rather on YouTube watching now and as I said this is being recorded it would be um, posted up on Facebook uh, if you have stories of young people that are doing ministry for Jesus I want you to send it yeah, in to me. you can send it to email me something at the following email address. That, that would be P-A-T-H dot A-D-V, path dot A-D-V, P-A-T-H dot A-D-V at floridaconference.com. P-A-T-H, that stands for path, Friday's right? P-A-T-H dot A-D-V, that's for adventurers, at floridaconference.com. If you have stories of young people doing ministry for Jesus, we want to hear, we want to spotlight what they are doing. That's what this is all about. Amen, yes. So, Junior, thank you so much. You're Jay, welcome, Pastor. thank you so much. Joshua, 
Thank you so much. And this was the first episode. We hope that the, uh, the future episodes will be much, much better. What do you say? I oh, think they definitely. see. What was that? Definitely. Many more to come. All right. So remember, this is called KT, Blaze KTFB. Keep the Keep fire, the fire, fire burning. 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 All right. So good night, everyone. Good night. Thank God you. God bless you. Good night. God bless. Good night. Happy, Happy Sabbath. Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. May God bless you. Amen.